ladies and gentlemen, we have the Crusher with us uh, right now. And uh, Crusher, what's new with you? Same old thing, George. No question about it. After seeing these couple bums wrestling here, that I'm way out ahead of the field as far as the wrestlers go today. There's no question about it. I'm the greatest wrestler around today. What's that bum doing with that one finger up here? I come up here for an interview, and the bums give me one finger. Uh, well, Crusher, uh, it means that you still got time to tell us uh, what's uh, coming up for you. Have you got any uh, real great matches in the near future? Well, I'm in a position where I send a contract into any promoter, any place in our country. With my name signed and an open signature. And anybody that will agree to go in the ring with me, I'll take on. It goes for anybody I buy, I don't buy anybody. Or any too many, in which way they want to go. I want to take on anybody. I love to wrestle. I like to beat these bums. And do you uh, ever put up any kind of uh, money with, the, with this uh, open uh, signature? I'll do it any way they want. I'll, I'll put my purse against their purse. I'll put up a thousand dollars and do it any way they want to go. And any of these guys with the so-called champions they got around here. Crusher, sure you should get plenty of takers. Thank you very much for talking. Yeah, I'm going to get these bums. Visiting time once again. This is Ted Travers sitting with Johnny, TV heavyweight champion, Valentine. As a matter of fact, he's handsome enough to be on TV in the movies. Anybody ever told you that, John? No, I think you're the first one. <laughs> well, if I was an agent, I wouldn't uh, mind talking to you about it. Well, I, I like to hear these compliments. <laughs> uh, let's sort of ask you, what are your problems, John? Do you have any problems outside of the one that uh, we're all interested in? Well, the big problem we're going to discuss now are my problems in, in wrestling. Coming up, I have a guy barking at my heels with the crusher, Lasowski. He's been uh, giving a lot of consoling remarks, and I'm also interested in clearing this little thing up, you know? I want to meet Crusher and just to uh, put him in his place. This match will be to one fall in this corner, weighing 240 pounds, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Crusher Lasowski. From Seattle, Washington, Johnny Valentine. The referee, James Callis. Now, well, look at this. The crusher doesn't wait. He wants to end the match right now. And he kicks him. Kicks him. The bell hasn't even rung yet. Here comes Johnny. coming back and the bell hasn't even rung. Whoops. Well, there's the bell. What's happening here? There's the crusher storming around the ring, keeping the crusher out of the ring. When does this match begin? The bell is rung. And the crusher is being sent back to the dressing room. There goes Johnny trying to get after the crusher who has been disqualified. The place is really in pandemonium. Johnny was all set to do battle with the crusher. The crusher was disqualified by the referee out of hell. for the start of this match between Valentine and Bad Boy Joe. Look at that. Joe hasn't got a chance. They're going to go to Skullbuster.
goes on. But a crusher. And anything can happen here and now. The crowd won't stand still for anything but the crusher. They're looking for him to come out. Bad boy Joe is out of the ring. I guess you can hear it. Everybody. Let the pressure have his way. The defense I got is putting that bum in a hospital before he ever can use it. The best defense is a good offense. And that's what I got is the best offense in the wrestling business today. I need no defense because when they start on these bums, they don't have a chance to take or do anything else. When a crush gets done with a bum, he don't come back for seconds. Don't you think you started a little too early, though? The match hasn't even begun. That's, and that's because of the lousy bell they got here in this state. They should invest in a bell that I can hear. 